What's up guys, so I recently checked out the specs of the newly announced HTC One. So in this video I wanted to check out how it compares to the other HTC One phones like the HTC One X and the HTC One X Plus. So you can see here the design is uh, pretty different actually. I mean, they, um, the HTC One is an all metallic body and compared to these other two phones, I've got to say I really like the design of the new HTC One. It just looks a bit more premium. It looks a lot thinner as well, but I'll have to wait until I actually get my hands on the device to say that. Now let's check out some of the specs. So here they are, we can see the, the newly announced HTC One on the left, the HTC One X Plus and the HTC One. So we'll compare them mainly to the HTC One X Plus because that's probably the best HTC uh, phone out at the moment. Well, I say it's the best HTC phone out. There's still the HTC Droid DNA, but this is the best HTC One X phone out at the moment. So uh, yeah. Now in terms of price, I, we don't really know. I think these are just uh, to be confirmed. But, you know, they're on contract as well. And, you know, the phone off contract is going to be the standard phone price, I think. It's going to be 450 to 500 pounds. Pretty standard stuff. So, yeah. In terms of the processor, you can see the HTC One has the 1.7 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon 600, which um, has the Adreno 320 graphics chip, whereas the HTC One X Plus has the 1.7 quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3. Now... The uh, I should mention the HTC One Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 is also quad core, and don't be fooled. Just because these are clocked the same, 1.7 gigahertz and 1.7 gigahertz, does not mean they are the same. Trust me, the Snapdragon 600 will smash the Tegra 3. It just will. It'll have. It'll be better. It's the Snapdragon 600 is is 40 percent better than the uh, S4 Pro and the Nexus 4, and that's saying something. So yeah. And it craps all over the uh, 1.5 quad core T3 or the 1.5 dual core S4 and the HTC One. It's just no competition. So in terms of memory, like all high-end smartphones now, we're getting two gigabytes of memory compared to the one gigabyte. So uh, it's pretty much increased in all the places you expect. What hasn't increased is the actual screen size. It's still 4.7 inches, but we have increased the screen technology. It is now the LCD3. So uh, that's going to be quite exciting to see because the LCD2 is probably the best Android display out. It was very good, very vibrant colors and real to life colors as well, not oversaturated, which is nice. So uh, LCD3 should be interesting. In terms of resolution, well, this is one of those things that's just got to the maximum now. I doubt we'll see any phone over 1080p. Hopefully we won't because it's not needed. I mean, 1080p isn't really needed, but there you go. That's what high-end smartphones have. And this one's no different. You can see 1920 by 1080, that is full HD, whereas the HTC One X and the HTC One X Plus both come in at 720p with 1280 8, by 720p. So, yeah. Uh, Gorilla Glass 2 on the HTC One and the One X Plus, whereas the uh, One X only has Gorilla Glass. This is, I was a little bit disappointed about that because there is Gorilla Glass 3. Obviously, it's not quite ready yet. I thought Gorilla Glass 2 would be implemented, but it's not. So there you go. Gorilla Glass 2 is still pretty damn good. Uh, the PPI, because of the 1080p screen, we're off the charts. 468 PPI compared to 312. I think the stat is something like the human eye can't even tell something over 360 or 320 PPI. So this might be a ridiculous overkill, but nonetheless, you're not going to see any pixels on this display. Storage, you can pretty much see it's a similar 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte variants. The uh, 64 gigabyte variant is only for the uh, HTC One X Plus, and the uh, One X comes in the 32 and the 16 for LTE. Now, this is the biggest difference. It's the camera. The camera is the biggest thing on this phone, in my opinion. They've moved... In, in terms of the HTC One, they've moved from the uh, megapixel kind of spec wars that everyone else is in, going to 8, 13, ridiculous numbers. They've got rid of all that. They've gone with 4 megapixel, but I shouldn't even mention that number because it's not fair. They're using something different. They're using ultra pixels instead of megapixels. Now, these are a lot bigger. The, the sensors and stuff like that are a lot bigger. The pixels are a lot bigger in these uh, sensors, which make light... Uh, low light shooting much better. I think it takes in 300% more light than a normal megapixel. So, you know, these sensors, it's going to be really interesting to see and I think it's going to prove much better. And hopefully, you know, everyone else is going to get out of these spec wars. Secondary camera, we can see it's got a 2.1 megapixel front-facing camera. The others have 
pretty standard stuff here. Video recording, I found this interesting as well. It can do 1080p with HDR, which uh, we haven't seen before, really, up to 28 FPS, which isn't that high, but uh, with HDR, it's cool, so we'll get some really nice uh, shots on the video. And it can do 720p at 60 frames per second. Now, that's going to be down to the uh, Snapdragon 600. It can just handle more frames per second, so that's nice. I also wonder, like, maybe we can do 1080p at 60 without HDR. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. The other two phones, the HTC One X Plus and the HTC One X, aren't able to do the HDR in the camera or 60 frames per second anyway. I don't believe anyway, so uh, don't quote me on that, but I don't think they are. Other than that, pretty much the same. We've got a small increase in the battery here, but really nothing major over the uh, HTC One X Plus, but it's still a small increase. You know, with a 1080p screen, you really want something 2,500 milliamp hours plus because, you know, it's going to drain the battery being 1080p. And it's heavier, but that's because it's a metallic body, 143 grams versus 135 and 130. Other than that, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be an interesting race between them. There's no doubt the HTC One is the best is the best HTC phone out when it comes out. It's going to be nice. It's going to go in direct comparison with the S4. Obviously, it has Sense 5, but um, I don't really like Sense, and we'll see how that turns out. So... In terms of specs, it's a beast, and it definitely beats out the One X and the One X Plus. So, yeah, that's that. See you later, guys.